Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Our streets! Can't fight back that needs to be launched in this country. And every shoot that came out tonight showed they're not afraid to take part in it. They said there was missiles being thrown. Well, empty fear cans. That's not the threat they were worried about. The threat they were worried about is the people standing up for themselves. The senior citizens, the uh, community groups, the senior citizens, paramount, will be all on the streets because we are suffering a, a huge crisis. We are now in a position where this country is bankrupt. Are you going to bother them into the streets as well? Chelsea C are here tonight to express solidarity with the students over what happened last week. Make no mistake about it, we know exactly what it feels like to have your human rights completely brushed aside. So today, coincidentally, is the four-year anniversary of the baton charge of a sit-down peaceful protest in Mayo. The other massively shocking thing I saw was that it took a whole week, a whole week, for the images that we all saw on the day to make it into our media. I was involved in two student occupations in the one day when I was a student fighting fees in 2002. We were not dragged out of those buildings. We weren't punched and we weren't kicked. And the reason why was they weren't about to try and force in a, dre a deadly and horrific budget that they're trying to get through at the moment. The Guardian uses a political tool. And let me say this as a former USI officer, that I am ashamed as a student, I'm a current student as well, I'm ashamed that there's no student union representatives here. We pay their wages. Where are you? Those that have powerful voices within society, holding up the status quo and not challenging it and not questioning it. That is what got us into the economic mess we are in right now. And what I would like to say is doing a sit-down protest is a pacifist method even. It's not even just peaceful. Those are the methods that Gandhi used. And if you hit somebody with a baton when they're sitting down doing a peaceful protest, how you can then turn around as a photographer and label that as a student's being, being violent 